This is the cat cow. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in our hands and knees in the quadruped position. You want the hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, help, uh, you know, get the joints moving in the back. I know we want a stiff core for a lot of things, but a mobile joint is a healthy joint, so we need the joints to move even in the spine where you have the uh, disc in there. And there's synovial fluid, and when you move the disc, it helps keep that stuff very healthy. So what Max is going to do is he's basically going to push the spine up to the sky. As he pushes the spine up to the sky, he's actually squeezing his glutes. He's trying to tuck the hips under, and he's pushing his arms away from the ground. Head comes down. As he goes back down the opposite way, he's going to retract the shoulder blades. He's going to stick the butt out, and the head's going to come up. So you notice there's that big swoop here as he pushes back up to the sky. Go ahead, push back up. He's squeezing the glutes. He's basically going to do the exact opposite, trying to get that biggest rounding that he can get. Then he's going to go back down, sticking the butt out, shoulders are retracting, head is up, and then back up the opposite way. So one good way to help you with this, to get the most out of it, is right now, with the head down, you should have all your air breathed out. As he lifts up, he should breathe in. And then as he goes back to the sky, he breathes out, nice and slow. You notice the tempo again. He's not going in a breakneck speed because he might break his back. We're just trying to keep tempo, keep control, and actually feel the spine move, okay? Make sure you're breathing. That's the cat-cow.